Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, um, my darts preview for day two of the Champions League of Darts. Um, a few upsets in day one, which I'll go with you in a minute. Um, but now it's time I'll go through the day one results, talk about the fixtures for day two and who's out and who's no larger in um, competition for the knockout rounds later on today. I'm also going to give you who I think is going to win the competition from the um, from the uh, actually from today uh, who's going to win it later on. Um, so at first, just go through day one results. So that's how we're going to start, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So day one results in the afternoon. It was uh, eight ten to Sullivage against Rob Cross. Um, not being disrespectful to Sullivage, I expected Rob Cross to win that one. Um, game two was Peter White uh, ten seven over Simon Whitlock. Um, now I weren't expect. Oh, actually, I was expecting Peter White to win that uh, round. Um, obviously, Simon Whitlock came down a bit in the last few years. Um, game three was Gary Anson against Del Gurney at eight ten to Del Gurney. Um, was I expecting that? Possibly not. Um, but it does happen and I think Dole Gurney is in shout with this competition. As I said, I'll tell you in a minute, who do I think is going to win this competition? Um, and then you, you had MVG against Dave Chisnall, who beat Dave Chisnall 10-2 to, to uh, MVG, which is more, more than expected. Um, and then in the evening session, you had Gary Anson against Dave Chisnell. Gary Anson won 10 7. Um, no, sorry, 10 3. Sorry, I uh, got mixed up there. Um, now, that's uh, Gary Anson I'm expected to see um, in the rounds like this. Um, Game two was MVG against Dol Gurney, and MVG won that 10-7. Um, as I'm saying, I've, you know, I thought MVG would turn up in this competition. Uh, watched, uh, I think it's around about the 13th, uh, 15th leg. Actually, yeah, 15th leg, where uh, MVG should have his double and. He didn't, and Dale Gurney got that one. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I expected MVG to be at full force for this competition, but he hasn't been. Um, and then you had Rob Cross against Simon Whitlock. 10-8. Um, Actually, sorry, no. Rob Cross was first. Um, yet again, Simon Whitlock. He ain't really been himself. Uh, for a few years now, but I'm hoping his game will pick back up. Um, then game two was Peter White versus Sullivage. Now uh, Sullivage won that 10-7. Um, yet again, Peter White changing his darts. Um, you know, yeah, it's not great, but. I do feel if he keeps on changing them, he will get caught out eventually. Um, and then obviously I just read the other two games out um, for Group A. Now on to the second, uh, on to today's round of fixtures for the last group stage game, and it is Rob Cross versus Peter White. Um, now it's the last leg like, shootout for that so whoever wins will make it into the knockout stages of the quarterfinals which will be later today 
um, or if you're watching this, it will be on the 23rd of September 2018. Um, and then it's a dead heat game. Um, Simon Whitlock against Mentor Sullivage. Uh, Simon Whitlock's already out. Um, so, you know, as I say, it's a dead weight game. Sullivage is already qualified. And then you've got MVG versus Gary Anderson. MVG is already through, but Gary Anderson isn't. Um, obviously, to actually qualify for this, you've got to win two games. Gary Anderson's only won one, and that was against uh, Dave Chisnell. Um, and then you've got another dead weight game. Um, Dave Chisnell against Del Gurney. Dave Chisnell is already out. So Del, Del Gurney needs to win and hoping that he does better than the Gary Anderson game result. So now who do I think is going to win it? Right, we've got Peter White, Rob Cross, Mental Sullivage, Gary Anderson, MVG and Del Gurney left. I'm going to put my neck out on the line, I'm going to go against the odds as well, I'm going to say Mental Sullivage to retain his title. Um, you know, as I said, I expect an MVG to turn up, he obviously hasn't. It finishes today, so you have got a lot of time to get the game up. Um, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting day of darts. Obviously, as I said, last group stage uh, later on this afternoon and then you've got the court finals, semi finals and finals all tonight so guys if you are going travel safe if you're already in Brighton you know come down for the weekend I hope you enjoy your trip down here guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now